Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kubra. I am a lifestyle content creator on both Instagram and YouTube. So today I'm gonna be talking about how I plan and edit my Instagram content, also creating an aesthetic cohesive feed. But before that, check out my Instagram page and give it some love because we're gonna be referring to it a lot in this video. Now let's talk about Instagram. I post every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday, three times a week, two reels, one post. This is my weekly schedule right now. And for my content planning, I recently started to use Notion and I do plan out all my Instagram content at the beginning of each month. That way I realize I'm being much more productive with the content that I'm creating and I'm not spending tons of time with trying to come up with content ideas. So that was a great way to keep myself up with that schedule and being consistent. So we are in my Notion right now and if we click here we see my content calendar. This is for March 2022. As I said, I do plan all my content, not just Instagram but my videos as well, but that's for another video. By the way, I think about shooting a video that is only about how I create and plan my YouTube content. So if you you're interested please let me know now going back to our topic i do not upload my instagram pictures or reels to my calendar to see how my feed is gonna look like this place is for putting down titles planning writing down my captions etc i prepare my contents as i go sometimes i do content batching and to make sure i've got that aesthetic feed look I use old school visco which I will show later as well. So what I do basically is I come up with a general idea in my head, write it down of course after placing my post dates like so, then I go into detail of each content, take notes, put down its full caption with Instagram CEO friendly keywords and more keywords here to make the algorithm happy and finally some relevant hashtags lastly alt text if needed quick note if you're serious about your instagram theme and strategy i highly suggest you to make your own hashtag research come up with a list according to your niche and save it for later i will add my hashtag idea list if your content type is similar to mine and when i use some of them I do my editing on Visco right now. I've used many, many different editing apps before like Snapseed, Facetune, Lightroom, but I don't need any of them right now since I keep my editing style super simple and minimal. So yeah, it's Visco that I use to edit my photos, my reel covers, stories, and arrange my feeds. Unfortunately, Visco doesn't allow you to play around with images and see how your feed is gonna look like but I do believe it's a great place to see your overall theme. I think it's the only app out there which doesn't go crazy after some point. Trust me on this. I even tried preview app but this course seems the best right now. I also want to mention how I edit my photos on Wisco briefly. I'm saying briefly because I don't do much in terms of editing. I simply use a four filter, maybe add a little bit of contrast, temperature, saturation, and maybe change skin tone. I always add a little bit sharpness and clarity to make sure the quality looks nice and that's basically it. All right, it's time to talk about how I edit my reels. For reels, I use VN Video Editor, which is available for Mac, but I use their mobile app, which is quite useful. I recently discovered that their A1 filter is super similar with my A4 
form filter on visco so that is the filter that i'm going with right now i'm loving it so much at the same time you can adjust so many things in your videos like you're editing a photo like temperature colors vibrance highlights shadows so many things and you can apply them all with one click which is a lifesaver for fonts and music yes they are available within the app but i prefer instagram for that because they have aesthetic fonts and nice music for instagram stories i actually don't have a schedule which means i go completely spontaneous but i do have an intention of putting out stories as much as possible and staying active on the platform lastly i want to mention my ideal list that i've created for each instagram content type from reels to captions again in my notion setup that means anything comes to my mind in terms of potential content idea is all here so i can refer to this page anytime i want especially while i plan my monthly content calendar and my feed and this prevents you from spending way too much time on finding inspiration from social media and trying to come up with ideas i'm not gonna show what's in these lists since i want to keep them private for now and don't want to give you guys spoiler but i guess you got what i mean so that was all for me if you want to see more videos about how to plan content for social media and instagram aesthetic please let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye